Howdy folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, before we get on to something completely different, uh, let's just get all the usual stuff out of the way. So once again thank you for watching our channel. Uh, don't forget if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It's interactions like that that make help this channel stay well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more important, it's customers, not just visitors, to our website that mean that this channel can continue expand with uh, new products and new ideas. So yeah, something completely different. What we're looking at here is the Hilkinson 3 times 25 Opera Dash Theatre glasses. But as we'll come on to very shortly, uh, I got a surprise really how versatile these are. So these are not ridiculous but they are ridiculously lightweight, 155 grams. You've got a, a focus there at the front, uh, nice and easy to use. I found with this one, focus was down to about 5 metres. With another one that I tested, it was around about 3 metres. So that there will be some variation. Very, very nice finish. L lovely, gloss, colourful finish here with a, a metal chain. Make a fantastic gift idea. So, obviously, if you're out indoor or outdoor concert you, you just want a little bit of a clearer view three times magnification it's it's better than you'd think and th three into 25 that's what 8.1 millimeter exit pupil the exit pupil is nearly as you can see wide as the glass that you're looking for uh, look looking through the, the eyepiece i mean and so you do get an incredibly sharp image and very good in low light conditions. I, I, I haven't been to an opera in these, but I have been out in the evening uh, looking across the road at rooftops and that in, in the dusk. And it really does enhance the view. So I would imagine these will be amazing for concerts, indoor and out, operas, etc. Uh, as you can see by my hands, very, very small indeed. 155 grams, so they're not going to be obtrusive to, to anyone around you. Very lightweight to use. Um, what I've noticed with these though, they, they do have quite a narrow apparent field of view. Uh, I, I'll, I'll guess them around about 35-40 degrees. It's, 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 it's almost a kaleidoscope effect when you look through it, but you soon get used to that. And you can actually cheat it by opening them out a little bit wider. Yeah, okay, the view looks like the binoculars that you see in westerns and um, war films, you know, the two circles. But it, it, it does work. And I'm, um, again, guessing that the, the actual field of view is around about six degrees. So, so the, these are not 300 pound uh, ED binoculars. So, you know, you, the, the, yeah, we're not going to go too much into the detail of um, chromatic aberration and distortion and all that. You know, you, you get what you pay for. But looking through these, when I was at my optics weekends, looking at some uh, birds on the lake and then getting some budget 8 times 21s out even though the budget binoculars cheaper than these brought it closer w did you see any more detail i would say no and i'm i'm guessing a lot of people look through these for the first time without me saying what the magnification is will get the shock of the life because you the, the image is so bright and uh, and there's a couple of things or well, one in particular that i noticed with these oh and just by the way we'll just quickly show you the little pouch that you get with it. Uh, no lens caps or anything and just a plain black box. Um, now I haven't researched uh, at all, typical me, but uh, yeah I know there is a word for it, those of you who like looking at clouds. Now this, these are amazing for looking at cloud structure. Uh, it, it, it's like obviously at such a light weight these are not going to shake. You're not going to fit hardly, you know, have any arm strain at all with these. And when you look at the structure of clouds through these, it's like, it's like somebody's, it's like you put a set of HD glasses on and it is so bright and clear. And, and uh, yeah, if, if you if you do like looking at the clouds, you, you, these really are, and in the UK, obviously, we're, we're spoiled for choice. We get them most days, don't we? It's um, really good. Uh, 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 that um, cloud spotting, cloud watching, however you want to describe it. And moving on, uh, l last night I was up at silly o'clock and 
where we live it's heavily heavily uh, light polluted plus we had a, a quarter moon and looking you know these are not deep sky binoculars but my it was like limited down to about fourth magnitude where, where I live and I could see six magnitude stars quite easily in, in the Pleiades that were invisible to the naked eye so it's very good for actually finding your way around the night sky if you don't like holding 50, 40, 30 millimetre binoculars you know, you're not going to see the big craters on the moon you're not going to see the rings round Saturn, the moons round Jupiter but another thing, looking at uh, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse however you want to pronounce it in Orion the vivid red colours that these brought out and so if you like astronomy and you like to look at the different colours of stars then yeah you, you'd be surprised you know that they are not for astronomy you can get much clearer views but to some people they simply cannot pick up heavy binoculars and I've had some people come to our optics weekends uh, pick up 200 gram binoculars and, and say they're a little bit heavy so some people do really struggling with you know holding up their, their arms up looking at the night sky and you will see more than you can definitely with the naked eye with these and it will bring out um, the colours much much more vividly um, with a, a lot of shiny bits here obviously you, you're going to get a lot of you know, reflection, internal reflection and, and I found when I picked them up like just hold one hand like that just to one side if you've got a bit of side light and that helps a little bit but yeah that's that's um, that, that, that's that's what you get uh, with nice shiny binoculars you're going to get a lot of reflection but that, that's a quick look at the uh, Hilkinson 3x25 binoculars um, currently available in the link uh, in the description to purchase from us uh, I'm not sure for how long so uh, we'll just uh, see how it goes as with a lot of new products that I try for the first time I just get a few in if they sell quickly then I'll get a load more in if they sell very slowly then it will be a limited run so as always thank you very much for watching I hope this helps and uh, I shall see you next time